Welcome to our Resbook training video. In this video we will cover logging into Resbook, your Resbook calendar, the customer relationship management module, placing a booking as well as invoicing your guests. To start off with let's just log in and when you are in the browser please type up www.resbook.net as soon as you press enter, you will land on this screen and you'll be asked for a username and a password to sign in. Now, if you have forgotten your password, do not fret. You've got a link here, which you can click on, and we will ask you for your email. As soon as you hit the continue button, we will send out an email to you with instructions to get back online. So let's just log in. Now as soon as you sign into your Resbook, you will see a calendar immediately. The blue date uh, symbolizes today's date and the calendar is shown 30 days ahead of time. Now what you can do is click on this icon on the left and toggle between the months to actually get to the next day of your choice. If you click on today, you will be reverted back to the present date and you also have left and right arrows to jump forward a month or back a month. You will also have a monthly toolbar which you can choose the month that you want to be in or you can view a year ahead or a year behind. Along this bar, you will also have the ability to view your calendar in 60 days. As soon as you click on it, you will be able to see a scroll bar at the bottom. If you click and drag it across, you can see all of your bookings within those days. Another function that we have is known as a filter. So for example, if you are on the phone with a customer and you needed to check availability very quickly, simply click on the filter button, enter in their arrival date, and also when they are departing, and click continue. Resbook will pull up all of the dates that are available for the particular inventory that you have and you can go ahead and make a booking by simply clicking on the empty square. I will touch base on how you place a booking soon enough. Now on the top right hand corner you've got a search bar as well so if you know what your booking number is you can simply search for that particular booking ID and if you need to uh, find them by their first name then you can go ahead and do that as well. Now that we have a overview of the Resbook calendars functionality let us move to the contacts section. When you click on contacts uh, you will pull up an entire search bar on the left hand side and this is alphabetized by their surnames. Now this context module or also known as a customer relationship management or CRM for short, this allows you to save all of your contacts to this uh, area and we will also record all of their historic data including emails as well as bookings that the guests have made with you so if they are repeated customers then yes we will be able to store that data beside their contact details now if you are uh, on MailChimp which is a newsletter campaign program then we also allow you to connect your resbook to MailChimp so any contacts added in this section here will automatically forward their email address to MailChimp so that you can start building your database of guests and you can also start sending out newsletters to them. If you need some help with that integration, just click on the help and support button and search for MailChimp. You'll be able to find the article listed there. So in this search bar, you can actually search for the customer's name if you type it up, uh, whether it's a first name or last name, or you can simply just use the scroll bar here to go down uh, alphabetically. In this case, we will just look at one contact, and as you can see here for this guest, you can look through their email history, the booking history, or if you've supplied them any quotes that will also be recorded in here. 
Now if you want to, to add a new contact, click on this button here. And you simply need to state their first name, their last name, as well as an email address. Okay, any other details can also be filled in, but that's optional. Now when I scroll down, I can see a contact type. It will always default to a guest. So provide your staff member with a unique username as well as password and make sure that you give them permissions for all of the modules here in ResBook. You can choose select all if you decide to give them all permissions or full permissions. Otherwise, if you want it to restrict certain access, you can always check by clicking on this arrow as well as putting in the restrictions. So if you wish for them to view the contacts only and not be able to edit or delete, then simply just uncheck those and make sure you save it. Okay. Don't forget that you also need to assign them the inventory, otherwise they will not be able to make any bookings for you. So make sure you click on select all for the inventory, or if you don't want them to handle some, then simply just uncheck one and click on create a contact. So this is what happens when you create a contact for a staff member, but as for a guest, it is much simpler. You do not have this entire section to deal with. If you are on the phone with a guest or you have simply received an email from them, it is time to make a manual entry booking. Simply hover over the empty availability on the calendar and click on the square. You will be directed to a booking form to fill in the details. If a guest is new, click on the plus button so that you may add in their details and create the contact. Or if this is a repeated customer, you may simply type in the box. It will have a predefined list for you to select their name. Now on the right here, there is a status, there's pending confirmation and confirmed. The difference between the two is that pending confirmation, you are holding those dates for the customer and you are awaiting a few more details before fully confirming it. Now for a confirms booking, the customer is about to make payment arrangements and they have also confirmed their dates with you. Simply add in your nights and state the number of adults that will be staying there. You'll notice that ResBook will automatically fetch those rates into here and will calculate the booking total for you based on the number of nights they are staying. If you need to add any comments to this booking form, you may do so. The general comments is mainly for your purpose. However, if you wanted to add any extra comments to the guests, you may do so and it will be sent out in an email to them. With the important notes, if you stipulate anything in here, remember to keep it short because when you hover over the booking in the calendar, uh, those notes will actually pop up. As for your housekeeping notes, you can simply state that in here or get one of your cleaners to log in and do it for you. If this is a booking that has been gathered from the agent, then you may add this booking to the agent by clicking on the drop down box. Now this is only if the agent contact already exists in the database. Once you're all done with that, save the booking or you can save and send out a confirmation email. As soon as you click on send email, then the booking will be saved in the calendar. Now to edit a booking is very simple. You can remain on this form and start changing in the details here. Obviously, if you adjust the number of nights that the guests are staying, it will actually reflect the booking total in the top right hand corner. Other things that you would be able to do is to request payment. You simply click on the button and supply in an amount and you click OK. ResBook will send out an email with a secure link for them to make a payment. Another thing that you could also do is to add an alert and create that. As soon as you create the alert, there will be an exclamation mark with the note as well as when you have made that note. To add the service onto the booking, 
click on the services tab here and select the service by clicking on it and dragging and dropping it into the window in front of you. Now you need to select the dates to which you want to apply the service depending on what type of service it is and if you need to supply any details go ahead and do so as well. Click add the service and the service will be automatically added to it and it will be stipulated in the top right hand corner as shown. If you wish to edit the service you can simply click on this button and adjust the changes and save it. Now the next tab are your payments. This is uh, all recorded in here if the customer has already made a deposit or if they've already paid up uh, when you sent the payment request link to them. Uh, at times you might also receive payments by cash in which you can add it here as well. So if you put in my charges uh, and it's also paid by cash you can simply state in the amount and update the payment. The next tab is your housekeeping tab. If you do need to add any cleaning entries, you can click on the date and you can state what sort of cleaning entry it is, whether it's mid-stay, a changeover or a new stay, uh, whoever the cleaner is. Again, this must be set up correctly in the contacts module. Any other comments and whether a fee applies to the guest. If there is none, then simply click on the red X to not add it to the booking. If you wish to move a booking into a different room, simply click on the Rooms tab and you can choose to move all the nights of accommodation to a different room and click on move. We will also ask you if you want to update the inventory unit rates for this booking. Select no if you don't wish for the rates to change. Once you've done that your booking will actually move to a different room in the calendar. Now if you click on the history tab anything to do with the updated changes to this booking will be recorded in here and according to any staff member that has logged in to change it and this is why it's important to have a staff member have their own unique login so that you can track who has actually made the changes and inquire if need be. You can also click on this button here to select uh, and find out any emails that have been sent or you can go back to the booking history. The next tab is your rate breakdown so it gives a, a breakdown of all of the nights that they're staying at. Uh, if they are um, staying in a different place then it will also uh, average all of that out and it will be shown in this section here. Now there are times where a customer may cancel uh, the booking with you. If you click on the cancel tab you can simply state whether the cancellation has been made by the guest or whether the cancellation has been made by yourself. You can simply state the private comments or if you need to include the cancellation reason you can do that as well. As soon as you cancel the booking we won't actually keep a record of the rate. And don't forget to send them a cancellation email to notify them. Now the last thing to do is to generate an invoice. If you click on the invoices tab you can select raise an invoice. Click on the invoice number to view your invoice. Your invoice can be printed in a PDF file if you save it or you can also send an email to the guest by clicking on the send button. The invoice can also be sent to Xero if you wish to do your invoices in Xero. For more information about this integration please select the help and support button and search for Xero. Now this concludes the entire first video of Resbook training. We thank you for participating and we hope to see you in the next video.